Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. Ra, queen of the Hesse Hare, promises Tarzan and his friends their freedom in exchange for the father of diamonds. Instead, she has them confined to the Tower of the Sun. Hakeru offers to help him escape if they will assist him to recover the Hesse Harean talisman from Tira. Tom, the only member of the party who knows where the gem is concealed, goes to the queen's chamber, accompanied by Darno, to recover it. Brian Gregory is held in the temple of Ma'achu in a state of suspended animation and Hakeru agrees to bring him to the Sanut, the car which is to convey the party over the rim of Tuanbaka to freedom. Tarzan himself goes to the upper floor of the Tower of the Sun, to the chamber where Helen and Magra are confined. As the ape man and the two young women are preparing to leave, the door begins to swing slowly open. With a gesture of silence to Helen and Magra, Tarzan leaps behind the barrier. Two armed Hesseherians advance into the chamber, their eyes on the young women. As the ape man moves noiselessly out from his place of concealment, one of the guards catches the movement from the corner of his eye. He turns, whips out his bronze sword, calls to his companion. With his shout, he leaps forward, weapon upraised to strike. Tarzan slips under the blow, catches the guard by arm and waist, lifts him high over his head, hurls him head foremost against the wall. The second Hesse Harian makes a rush for the open door. Before he has taken three steps, Tarzan catches him. The man's mouth opens to shout. Steely fingers bite deep into his throat. A moment later, the ape man tosses the unconscious guard aside. Come, Magra. Helen, you've got to move fast now. Where do we go, Tarzan? Out. Down these stairs. Fast. Never mind the noise. If there are any more guards, I'll take care of them. Wait, we'll close this door. Now, come on. Paul, they're not on home. Do we meet them? Never mind them. They'll probably be waiting for us. Where, Tarzan? At the Sanute car. We're all to meet there. Those two guards. Back in our room there. Are, are they dead? Stunned. Unconscious. They're not hurt. Here's the outer door. Just a minute. I'll see if the street is clear. Uh, but the door is open. Hakeru left it so when he and the others went to the temple. All right. There isn't a soul in sight. Come on, hurry. Here. This way. We're coming. Hurry, Margaret. Around that building ahead there. Then straight down the street to the edge of the city. It's a long run. Before... If only I went home, and Lieutenant Dono are there. Oh, up there's the tower. One of those guards. He's raising the alarm. Look at that low building beside the tower. Soldiers are pouring out of it. They see us. They're coming. Back in the secret passage leading from Tira's quarters, Tom and Darno stagger along under the weight of the Father of Diamonds and its golden disc as swiftly as they can. Crowding past the cobra, they gain the dim, high-vaulted corridor of the temple, hurry along it toward the little door opening into the passage under the street. My oh, Lord, so far, so good. Now, if we only can find that door. Mon Dieu, Tom, are those voices calling... 
This way, if we are found if we here... We reach the door to the passage under the street soon. It must be closed now. If we have not passed it. We have come this far. We must win through before that crowd beats us. The door is on your side. Watch for it, Dano. May we, Tom. We have passed nothing that even resembles a door. And this... Oh, sacre, this accursed thing is getting heavier with each step. Faster, Dalo. Yeah. For the love of food, a faster. We... If we are caught, it will mean worse than death. Oh. oh, we cannot be far from that. There, just ahead on your side. La porte, nom de mille chiens, the door. Put the disc down and find the opening stone. Beat, beat. Hurry, don't. Mon Dieu! Hurry! I, I have it. There. Inside. Quick. Here. Drop the disc while I close the door. Are we? We. Don't have the breast. But that was cutting it too thin. Yes, Dano. Much too thin. Help me to get the disc on my back. I think I can manage it alone through this passage. Hello. Here. Hello. <laughs> There. I shall balance it now. And when you are tired, let me try. Ready? Yes. Come on. Down through the dimly lit passage, Tom staggered with diamond and disc upon his back. Down opposite him, helping when he can. They climb the narrow stone stairs at the end of the tunnel and arrive at the bronze door in the outer wall of the building to which Hakeru brought them. Let it down, Dano. They must rest. There. There. Come with it. Oui, a breathing spell, mon ami. Then we must, we must continue. We still have a long way to go to reach the Sanut car, to the end of the street. Uh, if Tarzan were only here now. Nay, hey, my friend. He would pick that thing up as though it were a sack of feathers and run with it. Uh, this door is in the outer wall of the house, uh, right on the street. I shall open. of 13 has gone over to Tira. Otherwise, he would not be free. He is coming directly toward us. If he passes, he will see us. We must stop him from raising an alarm. Do you understand, Dano? Oui, oui. Oui, je comprends. We shall tie him up as we did Tira. N'est-ce pas? Exactly. Leave him to me. You watch the door. Softly. Here he is. As the venerable white-bearded Nishem approaches and is about to pass the wall projection where Tom and Darno are concealed, he pauses. His beady old eyes have caught a reflection from the golden disc leaning against the wall at his feet. He steps forward to investigate. Quietly, Tom moves out into his path, a grim smile on his lips. <laughs> Quietly, oh high priest, we intend you no harm. I have him, Tom. He will make no noise now. I have... But, Tom, you spoke the... <laughs> you... I had forgotten for the moment that he speaks English. I merely warned him to be quiet in his own tongue. Then you do speak their language. I had an idea, Mr. Tom, that you knew more of all this than you led us to believe. <laughs> they speak the ancient Egyptian, Dano. I happen to be rather familiar with the language. Eh, hey, pourquoi? Why did you not let uh, us know? No time for explanation now, my friend. We will go into that later. Find the old gentleman. Gag him. Uh, we must get on to the Sinut car. Bien. Bien, we shall leave him here then? Yes, I shall bind his feet. Quickly. There. He is as safe as his illustrious Tira. He will not get out of those not so quickly. And now, si vous êtes prêt? Yes, I shall open the door. Alors, we will carry the disc between us. Oh, no. Alone you will kill yourself before... What is that noise? A crowd. I do not see anyone in the street, though. Stay in the shadow of the walls. 
That moon is bright as daylight. But the door! Never mind it now. We cannot waste time searching for the stone. Come, Dano. We are not out of this yet. The crowd. They are guards, no doubt. Either they have learned of Tarzan's escape from the tower with Ellen and Magra, or... Tira has broken loose from her boots and set them on our trail. They seem to be coming this way. The noise is getting louder. Faster, my friend, faster. This way. That more building at the end of the street. The salut car is... Hey, if the others are not there waiting for us, we are... Oh, look! Home coming around that corner into the street. Kazan, Ellen, and Magra. Yes, and behind them... It's the area is going to be a very close race, my friend. If only our hero has won through with Brian Gregory. Wait, hold! Oh, no. Easy, go. We'll catch our breath. With Tarzan carrying the disc, we have a chance. Yes, give me that disc. You two look after Helen and Margaret. Come on, fast. Hot on Tom. Oh, Paul, thank heaven you've made it. Look over there. The tent door is open. Oh, there's the Harriet. Now we are in for it, Tarzan. We have further to go than we have. We, Tarzan. But guards from the tower and guards from the tomb. Such great. This is going to be very close. What happened to Hakero? Did he get through? And we left him in the temple. He is to meet us at the salute car with Gregory. Hot on Tom. I can run no more. Go on. Without me. Do not wait. Here, child. Here. I will carry you. No, no. I cannot. Come, come. Ellen, Ellen, my share. Oh, I'm coming, Paul. I'll play this, but I'll, I'll make it. Help Margaret and, and not on Tom. Just a few steps. I'll throw this disc into the salute car. Tom, you and Dardo help the girls here. And we'll stand the guards off until Hakeru gets here. Yeah, I'm afraid we will have to go without Gregory or Hakeru. I do not see him. Come near, Tarzan. Those fellows are gaining on us fast now. Here we are. Dardo, help Helen and Margaret. Here's the disc. Hakeru, where is he? And Brian. Never mind them. Get into the car and stay there. May mon ami, we cannot hope to hold that crowd for any length of time. There, there are too many. It is certain death. We'll try to stop them as they come through that little passage to the side of the car. It's narrow. We must hold them there. Come on. Hakeru! Tarzan! Hakeru has come with Brian Gilly! Here! The trap below! You hear Tarzan? Hakeru has arrived with Gregory. Yes. I give ground slowly. Back toward the car. Hakeru! Be ready to let go the brake as soon as we're in the car. I owe Tarzan. I am ready. Dano! Look, Tarzan, he is walking toward the car. Dano, move back with us. Do you hear? Come back. Well, the fool, he is walking straight into the car. Tarzan, look on him. Oh, help. Come back here, Dano. Dano, thinking only to delay the Hesse Harians long enough for his friends to mount the salute, rushes up to meet the foremost guards. Several of them surround him at once. He stands solidly, lashing out with clenched fists, a grim smile on his lips. A huge Hesse Harian leaps on his back. The others swarm over both men as they sink to the ground. With a yell of warning, Tarzan springs forward to the help of his friends. Freedom! Freedom! 